Eid Mubarak to you and your family. Hope your home is filled with good cheer. May this festive season bring you joy and happiness. Eid Mubarak. I am Adolim. I live in the Republic of North Macedonia. I am a student in the primary school 25 May in Skopje. These days, due to COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school. But we are lucky to be a generation to, of, cha of technology change. So we use the digital platforms in order to have a distance learning process. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning and the way that COVID-19 can stop us from achieving our goal. Distance learning. Distance education or distance learning is the education of students who, who may not always be physically present at a school. As school. Traditionally, this usually involved correspondence courses wherein the student corresponded with the school via post. Today, it involves online education and distance learning. Program can be completely distance learning or a combination of distance learning and traditional classroom instruction. Massive open online courses offer, offering large scale interactive participation and open access through. The World Wide Web or other network technologies are recent education modes in distance education. A number of other ter terms are used uh, uh, roughly synonym synonymously with distance education. Hello, I'm Alan. I live in the Republic of North Macedonia. I am a student in a primary school 25 May in Skopje. These days, due to COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school. But we are lucky to be a generation of technological changes. So we use the digital platforms in order to have distance learning process. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning and the way that COVID-19 cannot stop us from achieving our goal. Nothing can stop us. In these difficult times, isolating and distancing from everything we see, the virus made us hide ourselves from our daily lives, making us sad and stressed about our future. The beginning was difficult enough. After we were forced to face something unknown, this situation made us understand the value of the good things we have. This shows us as humanity that when something unexpected comes up, we must have patience and a positive mind if we want to get through these hard times. Even if we must stay distanced and isolated in this situation, that won't stop us from learning or doing other projects. Certainly, after every failure, there is success and happiness. Hello, I'm Alban from Skopje, Republic of North Macedonia. I'm a student at primary school at 25 May. These days, we don't go to school due to the situation with COVID-19. Luckily, we have distance learning process nowadays, which is very uh, welcome these days. For the students from other schools throughout Europe, I have written an essay announced the distance learning which doesn't stop us from learning new lessons, but we have to work hard to make every moment worth it to learn online as we used to learn at school, and to be stronger than ever. My friends, uh, thank you for your attention, hope to see you soon. Stay home, stay safe, together we stand. Hello, I'm Amar Gashi. I live in the Republic of North Macedonia. I'm a student in the primary school, 25th May in Skopje. These days, due to COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school, but we're lucky to be a generation of technology changes, so we use the digital platforms in order to have distance learning progress. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning and the way that COVID-19 can stop us from achieving our goals. Distance learning is a form of education which has been created with the aim of delivering education among those students who are not able to attend regular school due to various reasons. Thanks to the modern world, nothing can stop us to reach our goals and educate ourselves. Thank you. I like e-twinning because it gives me an opportunity to communicate and make new Hello, my name is Lozana. I live in the Republic of Northern Macedonia. I am a ninth grade student in middle school uh, in the 25th of May in Skopje. And today I will be sharing with you my experience in distant learning for the past few weeks. When the school closed up because of the worldwide pandemic with COVID-19, as we are lucky enough to be born in a time where technological changes and devices are very advanced, students and teachers opted to other learning methods such as online classes and distant learning. With such new ways 
uh, we became more productive in certain areas, such as more flexible with our time management because we can schedule and have more control over when the classes will be held. We have more free time to become more productive and devote more time to other beneficial activities while we still remain properly educated and focused on our studies. My personal experience was great. The online class classes and overall distant learning gave this feeling similar to it of a classroom, but uh, much more comfortable because I was learning and listening from the comfort of my home. I was able to give my utmost attention to the teacher and complete the assignments with low levels of difficulty and found the entire process pleasant and productive. I wish that this situation will end, as, uh, end soon and that we will go back to normal as soon as possible. Thank you for your attention. My favorite is coffee. That makes me happy. I am Adolim. I live in the Republic of North Macedonia. I am a student in the primary school 25 May in Skopje. These days, due to COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school. But we are lucky to be a generation to, of, cha of technology change. So we use the digital platforms in order to have a distance learning process. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning and the way that COVID-19 can stop us from achieving our goal. Distance learning. Distance education or distance learning is the education of students who, who may not always be physically present at a school. As school. Traditionally, this usually involved correspondence courses wherein the student corresponded with the school via post. Today, it involves online education and distance learning. Program can be completely distance learning or a combination of distance learning and traditional classroom instruction. Massive open online courses offer, offering large scale interactive participation and open access through. The World Wide Web or other network technologies are recent education modes in distance education. A number of other ter terms are used uh, uh, roughly synonym synonymously with distance education. Hello, I'm Alban from Skopje, Republic of North Macedonia. I'm a student at primary school at 25 May. These days we don't go to school due to the situation with COVID-19. Luckily, we have distance learning process nowadays, which is very uh, welcome these days for the students from other schools throughout Europe. I have written an essay announced the distance learning, which doesn't stop us from learning new lessons, but we have to work hard to make every moment worth it to learn online as we used to learn at school and to be stronger than ever. My friends, uh, Thank you for your attention. Hope to see you soon. Stay home, stay safe, together we stand. Hello, I'm Alan. I live in the Republic of North Macedonia. I'm a student in the primary school 25 May in Skopje. These days, due to COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school, but we are lucky to be generation of technological changes. So we use the digital platforms in order to have distance learning process. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning and the way that COVID-19 cannot stop us from achieving our goal. Nothing can stop us. In these difficult times, isolated and distancing from everything we see, the virus made us hide ourselves from our daily lives, making us sad and stressed about our future. The beginning was difficult enough, after we were forced to face something unknown. This situation made us understand the value of the good things we have. This shows us as humanity that when something unexpected comes up we must have patience and a positive mind if we want to get through these hard times. Even if we must stay distanced and isolated in this situation that won't stop us from learning or doing other projects. Certainly, after every failure there is success and happiness. Dear friends, I would like to introduce myself a participant of a twinning project in which our school is a part of. I am Hadis Tahiri, I came from North Macedonia. I am a, a student in the primary school 25 May in Skopje. I am also a football player. I train hard in order to become a famous footballer in the future. These days, because of the COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school, but we live in the air of technological change which make distance learning progress a proof that nothing will stop us from learning and achieving our goals in the future. For my friends that are also isolated, I have a message. 
stay home and don't go out in these days because COVID-19 is a dangerous virus which we can pass this together. Thank you for your attention and hope to see you and cooperating with you in the future because uni united we stand and nothing can stop us. Bye. Hi, I'm Martina Dema. I come from uh, the Republic of Macedonia, Skopje. I learned in the primary school Nistepes Moi. I am also very sorry and send all my prayers to all my friends and family who are having a rough time through this difficult situation. I promise you it will end soon. I'm also a part of the e-twinning uh, project where we write down about long distance learning through uh, the computers, um, cell phones, smartphones, all of these kinds of stuff. Uh, and here's what I wrote. I like e-twinning because it gives me an opportunity to communicate and make new Hello, I'm Arbenita. I live in Republic of North Macedonia. I'm a student at the primary school, 25 miles in Skopje. These days, due to COVID-18 situation, we don't go to school. But we are so lucky to be a generation of technological changes. So we use the digital platforms in order to have distance learning process. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning and the way that COVID-18 cannot stop us from achieving our goal. So this is okay. This is um, life is not always good. It's provocative for us humans and everything what live in us. But we must believe in ourselves to continue our dream to realize that something happened on our planet came a disease COVID-18. It stops every movement, but no, it can stop human knowledge. We learn from home. We will achieve our goals. We must be stranger. So, thank you so much for your uh, attention and hope to see you and uh, cooperated with you in the future because united we stand and nothing can stop us. Bye! Hello, I'm Adorim. I live in the Republic of North Macedonia. I'm a student in the primary school, 25 May, Skopje. These days, uh, due, uh, due to COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school, but we are lucky to be a, a generation uh, technology change. So we use the digital platforms in order to have a distance learning process. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning, learning and the way that COVID-19 can stop us from, from achieving or goal. Distance learning. Distance, distance education or distance learning is the education of students who may not always be physically present at school. Traditionally, this usually involved correspondence course, courses wherein the student corresponded with the school via post. Today, it involves online education. A distance learning program can be completely distance learning or a, combi or a combination of distance learning and traditional classroom instruction. Massive open online courses offering large-scale interactive participation and open access through the World Wide Web or other network technologies are recent education modes in distance education. A number of other terms are used roughly synon synonymously with distance education. Hello, I'm Alan. I live in the Republic of North Macedonia. I'm a student in a primary school 25 May in Skopje. These days, due to COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school, but we are lucky to be a generation of technological changes. So we use the digital platforms in order to have distance learning process. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning and the way that COVID-19 cannot stop us from achieving our goal. Nothing can stop us. In these difficult times, isolating and distancing from everything we see, the virus made us hide ourselves from our daily lives, making us sad and stressed about our future. The beginning was difficult enough, after we were forced to face something unknown. This situation made us understand the value of the good things we have. This shows us as humanity that when something unexpected comes up we must have patience and a positive mind if we want to get through these hard times. Even if we must stay distanced and isolated in this situation, that won't stop us from learning or doing other projects. 
Certainly, after every failure, there is success and happiness. Hello, I like e training because I like to meet new friends. I like e training because it gives me an opportunity to communicate and make new friends. Hi, I like e training project because I like to communicate. Hey, uh, my name is Ardit Bektesi. I come from the um, Republic of North Macedonia and I would like to share my thoughts and experience on this project uh, of the recent outbreak of COVID-19. In this project, the theme is distance learning uh, and nothing can stop us. On the start of January 2020, uh, the virus first appeared on the city of Wuhan, which is the epicenter of this virus uh, named COVID-19. According to scientists, they say that the uh, COVID-19 circulates from animals to humans. COVID-19 is a new coronavirus that means a new branch that has not been previously identified in humans. The name coronavirus came after a scientist first saw it in 1968 under a microscope and looked like the solar corona. What are the symptoms of this virus? This virus can cause pneumonia, acute respiratory system and kidney failure. The most common signs are fever, coughing and difficulty breathing. According to researchers, the coronavirus in some healthy people and children may not show symptoms. Coronavirus has the highest mortality rate in people over the age of 70. Preventive measures to protect against this virus are necessary to wash hands, to avoid uh, enclosed spaces with many people, to avoid contact with isolated and infected people, to use disinfectants and to cover face the face with napkins when coughing or sneezing. As we are determined to stay at home due to COVID-19, online distance learning is decided and has almost completely digitized the lectures of teachers. In my country, the Republic of Northern Macedonia, as the well, the Ministry of Education has taken measures for distance learning where it has created e-learning pages for all schools. Teachers on these sites send uh, materials uh, so that students can be uh, served with the following lessons. We students open these school pages that belong to e-learning and there are all the teaching units that have been sent to us. Teachers are also encouraged to contribute so that we do not, uh, do not remain without students' knowledge even th through TV presentation video units of different fields. This way of education until the crisis period will be formal and from what has been learned will depend on the result of the students and the end of the school year. I, as a ninth grade student, don't think it's bad to use distance learning. I think it's a good way for the, the situation we are now and it's not best to, bad to use technology to learn. But I have some friends in my class that have no conditions to learn from a distance. And I feel bad for the students that don't have the opportunities uh, to work on uh, uh, these programs for education that we use nowadays like uh, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Edmodo, uh, e-learning, Classroom, etc. I'm optimistic uh, that this virus will end and I hope those who were infected uh, get a cure fast and to not uh, get more victims and the, w and the world will start to function how it used to and everyone will do uh, their work and all the kids will go back to school because I miss school very much. I don't think that the virus will have an effect on our educational system and it won't stop us do from doing the things that we used to do. Hello, I'm Samyata Ademi and I live in the Republic of North Macedonia. I'm a student in the primary school 25th May in Skopje. These days, due to COVID-19 situation, we don't go to school, but we are lucky to be a generation of technological changes. So use the digital platforms in order to have distance learning process. I would like to share my thoughts about distance learning. And the way that COVID-19 cannot stop us. What is distance learning? Distance learning is the way of learning in regular face-to-face -face contact with a teacher in the classroom. So, stay safe, stay home.